Hi, I'm Leander Caney, editor and publisher of CultureMac.com. And this is day two of my iPad Pro diary, where I'm using um, the new iPad Pro as my one and only computer. This is an experiment to see whether I can actually, uh, th this thing really is a, a laptop replacement, um, as Apple is claiming. Um, I've had iPads for years, of course, but I've never really learned how to use them for work. Every time I came up against some obstacle, some roadblock, uh, instead of learning a, a, you know, the, the iPad way of doing it, I would just pick up my computer, my MacBook, and do it on the computer instead. So this time I'm actually really going to try and learn you know, a new workflow, new apps, um, new ways of doing things um, on the laptop. Uh, uh, oops, I beg your pardon, on the iPad Pro. Uh, but you know, the key thing, I think, for using it as a computer replacement is this, is the keyboard. Uh, and of course, Apple sells one, um, the Apple uh, Smart Keyboard at 169 bucks. This is the Logitech Create Keyboard. Uh, it's $150. It's from Logitech and it's backlit, it lights up, uh, it clips, the iPad clips into um, a connector here and it turns it into a, you know, essentially a MacBook. Uh, and it is just like using a MacBook. It's really steady, it's really sturdy. You can pick it up and it'll stay in place. You can sit it in your lap, it doesn't dance around. Uh, and the keyboard is really essential to getting work done on, on the iPad. You know, typing on the screen really just doesn't cut it. So you need something like the, um, the Logitech Create keyboard to, uh, to actually get work done. So uh, some people have described the iPad as the, uh, a new kind of computer. And I think with uh, things like you know, the touch screen, of course, but also the Touch ID, which um, dispenses with typing passwords all day. I mean, one of the things I do all day is type passwords into my computer. Uh, I use 1Password, but you have to keep typing the password into 1Password to get access to the other passwords. You don't have to do that anymore with, um, with Touch ID. You just touch your thumb to the uh, Touch ID button and um, it opens it all up. And it makes for a much nicer experience, a much smoother experience. And with things like split screen uh, multitasking, um, it's a lot better for working on. You know, I can now have two windows open. I've got the Safari here and Slack here. I can have Safari and a, w a word processing document. I can have, you know, uh, instant messages. Um, it's not much more productive. But in order to unlock that, you know, productivity, um, you really do need a keyboard. You can't do this if you have a soft keyboard that comes up and covers half the screen. I also like the fact that this has these function keys. Now, I never used function keys on a computer. Um, I was always sort of, you know, had this mindset that I would do it with the mouse or the trackpad. But here I find um, I'm really getting used to the function keys. I'm really learning how to use them properly. This has function keys for um, the home screen, but also for search. And search, I think, really is essential. Search really should be the home screen of the iPad. Um, because you can find, uh, you can search across multiple apps, you can search across your contacts, across music, and also the web, all from this one screen. So it makes things a lot quicker and it's a huge shortcut for getting stuff done. So a keyboard like this, like the Logitech Create, is really the bottom half of this new kind of computer. It's not really a new kind of computer without it. And that's the irony of it. The new kind of computer is very much like the laptop, the MacBook that we all have been using for years.